Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Activities for People Living with Dementia. We're proud to offer this series with funding from the Area Agency on Aging and the United Way of Tarrant County. Some of our programs are recorded and some are made available for viewing through a YouTube channel for future use. I am Martha Brown, your host for today's activities. It is always my pleasure to bring to you Emily Corbin. Today, she's bringing Nia moving to heal. And we always need to move our bodies just a little bit, or at least I do. Emily, show us how today, will you? Absolutely. <laughs> um, so yes, let's get our Monday started off right. Um, get our week started off right with some movement here. Um, we're gonna move in a way that feels good. Um, so if I invite you to do something and it doesn't feel uh, like a good fit in your body, then you can choose to change it. You can choose to do something completely different. You have a complete freedom and autonomy over your experience while we're here together. Um, so I want to encourage you to listen to the messages that come from inside of your body more than you're listening to any instruction that I might give. Um, and remember sitting on the edge of your chair and with your shoes off, sensing the feet really pressing into the floor a little bit. Notice that you have, when you press your feet into the floor, you have stability and you can move your upper body with more control and more confidence, more freedom, right? Uh, if you can sense that grounding in your seat and in your feet. And then let's all just work on our posture here for a moment, noticing uh, kind of the way we might show up casually to you know, just hanging out on the couch, right? And then what happens when we plug in the feet, find stability in our seat, and then start to kind of lift the sternum a little bit. You don't have to exaggerate and puff out your chest, but having a little bit of a lift in that space of your heart right up here. And then noticing that all the strength supporting that lift and this upright posture is coming from your middle, your core, okay? All right. And then we'll close our eyes for a moment and just start to notice what we sense. Um, right off, you may notice your heartbeat you may notice sounds in the room with you or simply the sound of my voice. And then see if you could go in a little more and, and look for more detail about your physical experience. Right? Are you noticing that you have uh, tightness or discomfort or tension anywhere? Are you noticing Anything about your energy level? Are you noticing a warm or cool environment? Anything you notice, it's exactly the right thing. And then let's take a deeper breath here in through the nose. So it's like you're smelling the moment and then exhale. Sigh, let out any tension in your shoulders. Let's do that again. And you might notice what kind of lung volume you feel like you have today. If you want to, you can give that a number on a scale of one to 10. And as I start to bring us some music, We'll begin to open our eyes and notice what's around the room. So you can start by 
moving your head and really observing all around you. So this is the space that you're working with. This is your kinesphere, right? And so looking all around in each direction, becoming aware of um, any obstacles that are, right, like a wall over here or the arm of a chair down here, whatever you notice, just kind of making a note. And then bring your head back to neutral and we're just going to move our eyes now and look around the room with only the eyes. So your head is neutral, your spine is nice and long, your feet are rooted into the floor. And then you're noticing what you see in the room around you. Just looking, looking with your eyes. So I don't know if you guys will be able to see my eyes, but they're looking all around, even though I'm not moving my head, right? And then let's come back to a soft gaze toward the front of the room. And then let's lift one of the feet and rotate the ankle joint. We're going to pay a little bit more attention to our joints today. <laughs> Did we notice a sound? <laughs> and rotate your ankle joint both directions. And then take the foot back to the floor. Let's do the other one. Lift. Rotate. Right, you may notice some snap, crackle, and pop there in the ankle joint. Let's go the other direction. And then take your foot back to the floor. Did you say something, Martha? Oh, okay, all right, we're good. So now we're gonna raise up onto the balls of the feet and just sense that you're if you were standing, it would be like you're on your tippy toes. And now let your heels slowly come back down. So with control. Nice. Okay. And now opposite of that, we're going to lift the balls of the feet. And slowly let them come back down. Nice. Let's give some movement to the spine. So I'm just going to find a horizontal sway here. And then let's find a forward back sway. It doesn't have to be big. We're warming up the body. Nice. And then let's find movement in our shoulders. And from that movement in your shoulders, look for some movement in your elbows. So it's as though there's a string attached to the elbows. You can watch it go up on one side. And then the hand starts to float up and you can let it come back down. Nice. And what about fingers? Warming up all of the fingers and the wrist. Sensing rotation in your wrist, sensing a flex of that heel in your hand, yeah? And all of these movements are intentional and slow and with control, right? All right. Now let's shrug the shoulders, inhale and exhale. One more time. Nice. 
reaching out to the front of the room, letting the chin drop. And then as you exhale, you can bring your palms up and bring the elbows in towards your side. So I'll show you this from the side. I'm rounding the back when I inhale and I'm exhaling to bring my arms in and let the chest shine like it did at the beginning, yeah? So inhaling, exhaling. Inhaling. Let's take the feet just a little bit wider for stability. Continue this. One more like that. And then reaching one arm up, reach it over your head and bring it down. Nice, the other side. Some that opening in the side of your body. Yeah, let's do it again. One arm, send that stretch, and then it floats, move safely. Nice. One more on each side. All right. Now let's take the hands up and back behind us. They're still up. It's just that they're reaching back. They're up and they're back. So notice you can press your feet into the floor to stabilize. Now we'll go a little faster and the movement will get smaller. So we're using the same amount of music, really. But there's more of a stop, start. La, la. One more. Nice. And now, slowing the arm side while we step lifting the whole foot sense undulation in your shoulders you can look to each side you could look just with your periphery your peripheral vision aware of where you're moving in space Now it's gonna get smaller, closer to the body. Maybe the feet come closer together. And then palms up. Allow this easy sway. It's joyful. It feels good, right? So just look for those two qualities. Joy feels good in the body. And now let's work with a heel press. So we call that a squish walk in Nia. I'm gonna lift my heel. Alternating, squishing the floor. You can squish with your wrist. Nice. It doesn't matter which heel and which hand, right? 
We're ready to bring it back to the center. The feet get still. The arms reach up and they sway. Let this movement come from your core. You happen to have your arms lifted, but they're not working. Only enough to hold themselves up, right? And then the movement is coming from the middle of you, right? Which is the strongest, at least has the most potential, yeah. And then let your arms start to sway down. And now with the palms down, it's like you're making art in sand. And then we're gonna slow it way down, same movement. You can play with drawing your elbows towards you. And then rest here in the center. Just take a deep breath. Let it out. Notice anything, right? Notice whatever you notice, okay? So lifting our balls of the feet now, yeah? Heels stay grounded. Waking up all of the muscles that help you lift the ball of your foot. Yeah. And then we're gonna find this sort of pendulum with our shoulders, dropping one shoulder down and then the other. And then we're gonna play with two on one side versus one, right? So one, one, and then two. One, one, two on the other side. Two on the other side. <laughs> if you forget, it's okay. See if you can forgive yourself and come back and do, I don't know, the pleasure, what feels good. Okay, let's let that go, shall we? <laughs> I think we need to shake off our ankle joints a little bit, maybe our wrists too. Oof, just shake off those ankles. It worked pretty hard, yeah. <laughs> All right. So rainbow arm each side. And if it's too fast, make it smaller or slow it down. We could slow it way down. Ah, that feels good. Watch your hand. Watch your hand. What is that? <laughs> nice. And then brushing to the front. Remember this from the beginning and drawing the elbows back towards us. The only thing that's different is the music and we're not rounding our spine. Yeah. Brush backs of the hands. And then it's like you're oh, locking in those elbows by your side. Nice. Let's keep going. So since the contrast between this soft brushing, ha, yeah, and that squeeze in of your biceps, you don't have to do it fast, right? Or you can test your agility. It's up to you. Now, it's just a little pump of the fist. I'm adding in a little duck walk. Pumping the fist anywhere in the kinosphere.
Nice. And then let's shake that off. Taking a moment in complete stillness to notice, notice your heartbeat, notice where this music lands in your body and makes you want to move, notice your breath. Very nice. We're going to find a little kick here. So we have to break our kick down into parts. It starts with pressing the supportive leg into the floor, always, right? So we lift one knee, extend the leg, bring the knee back in, and take the foot down to the floor. Let's do the other side. So it's a slow motion kick. And this really helps you condition the muscles in your legs, right? You're not putting pressure on your joints. Yeah. And let your spine relax enough to move with you. And then if we want to do a little faster kick, we will. What if we kick across the body? It could just simply look like straightening your leg across the body. Notice the strength of your belly supporting. You could rotate. And then we'll extend one leg. You're just gonna glide your hands, fingers, down the leg, and then round your spine as you bring your fingers back up. Nice, we'll change sides. Extend your leg, round. Uh-oh. Have an escaped earbud. All right, rejoin me, rounding up, shifting legs, your own side, your own timing, wherever you are, it's exactly the right place. Now can we go a little faster? Just take one hand to one leg. Keep going just to complete an equal number on each side. All right, let's get loose in our bones. Show me your big, heavy bones. And we're gonna squish the heels. Right, you can make a big heavy bone sound if you want. Yeah. All right. So we're gonna lift one foot and then the other. Sense how the belly is helping you lift. Keep your feet in the chair. Use your belly to help you lift your leg. All right. And then let's high five each other. Right? Hey, nice work. Oh, this is where we breathe slow. Arms reach out, we breathe slow, and then turn the palms down, keep this gentle sway, sense that oh, relaxing, soothing breath right here. Nice. 
And then back to our whole foot. We're gonna brush our shoulders now. Brushing the shoulder up and back. You could watch your elbow moving back just out of the corner of your eye. Nice. Now what if we have to make it bigger? Well, it would go slower. And what if we want to make it faster? It gets smaller, closer to the body. Oh, there's our... Yeah. Let's do it again. Any way you do it, uh, feels pretty good. And then, little flick. Flick, flick, let's flick a little faster. <laughs> Surprise yourself. You could add in something with the feet. What would it be? Maybe a little duck walk. Let's throw sprinkles on our friend. <laughs> now, start to notice that you can isolate your chest, right? You can isolate your chest and notice that that will move your arms. So you can move your arms just by moving the core of your body, yeah. You can play with arms out, the front, or arms down. But I'm still moving the core in order to make the arms move. What about out here? Oop, there's our chorus. Get it, our chorus. <laughs> it was bad, it was really bad. Yeah. Oh, is this our flick? Yeah. Martha told me it is. Okay, self-guided movement is the best. Oh. Wait, what if we match the music with our movement? What does that look like? Well, it's gonna look like however you interpret the music, right? Which is pretty cool, because we're all making uh, a work of art that will never be made again, ever. Pretty, pretty great. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Stepping one foot, reaching out over that foot, and then drawing the palms back in. Yeah, other side. Step your foot and reach. Bring your palms back in. Nice. Stepping. It gets a little faster. Step. Bring the palms down. Step. You could scoop. Yeah. Like, what are you scooping up and bringing it back in towards you? Ah. <laughs> Let's scoop both arms and bring them in. Scoop. Ah. Now, what if we went the other way? We took something from in here and gave it out there. Yeah, nice. Let's try that. Now let's do it to one side. Yeah, other side. Giving from the heart. You can sense the shoulders moving onto the back, right? When you draw your elbows back. 
one more this side. And then we'll brush our shoulders. Slow step. Bringing your feet a little bit wider, we'll find a creepy crawler movement. So tickling this space. What about just your right hand? And then there's this little dance that's possible with the creepy crawler movement of the hand, fingers. Nice, let's take that hand behind us and shift into the left. Find the creepy crawler first. And then if there's a dance that shows up in your arm, go with it. Nice. Oh, and let's bring our arms back in, just resting your palms on your thighs. So I want you to relax your chin and your jaw. And that may mean that your mouth is open, right? You want to sense this relaxation of the muscles that connect to the base of your skull. So it helps to soften your eyes or close your eyes if that feels safe. And it helps to sort of soften the soft palate <laughs> if that feels accessible, right? Sometimes just becoming aware of these places is enough to help us. Learn to work with the movement. Yeah. And then let's start to make some circles with our head. Letting this light that's shining from the crown of your head guide as you bring an ear towards a shoulder and then around and down towards your chin. If you feel any discomfort, Listen and respond anywhere that you feel like you want to pause and let your breath sort of move into a muscle or a group of muscles. Just stay there. Take a deeper breath you discover something that needs to soften and then move around for the next place. Really listening to the body's intelligence here. When you're ready, bringing your chin back to neutral and then rediscover that place of Feet rooted down, feet rooted down. So if you notice that your pelvis tilts forward just a little bit, let's work to send the tail down instead, helping you to engage the transverse abdominals. And that's gonna protect your low back. utilizing your core power. And then sensing that lift in the crown of the head, allowing for this buoyancy, softness in your neck. Find that ease in your jaw again. With your next inhale breath, we'll take our arms out to the side and raise them up to your comfort level. I'm just gonna take a prayer hand and then bend my elbows, keeping them pointed up. 
letting my hands fall behind my head. Now, if you sense a lot of pressure on the back of your head, I want you to push your head into your hands and lift your chest. Let your shoulders relax, right? We don't want that sense of downward pressure from the hands onto the head. If anything, let the weight of your head help you release in your tricep. Yeah. When you're ready, allow yourself to inhale back to neutral. Raise your palms again. And exhale, bring them into your heart space. Couple of breaths here, just observing, noticing what we notice. So just for a moment, I'll invite you to notice places in your body, like your feet on the floor. And if it's helpful, start with one foot. Notice the foot. Notice each toe. And what do you sense underneath it, inside of it, and around it? and your heel and the ball of the foot. Sense the space between your arch and the floor. And now sense the other foot, all of the toes. Sense the heel and the ball of the foot. and your arch, the space between the floor and your arch. Your seat in the chair. Your strong core. The chest balanced over the hips. Your long spine. your softened jaw. And since the fingertips touching each other, since the outer part of your hand Sense the pad around the base of your thumb on each side. And sense a little bit of space in this sort of arch of the hand. And then when you're ready, let's let the hands separate and soften down Resting the palms and the fingers on your thighs again. Nice big inhale through the nose. And exhale. Let's do it again. Letting any tension that remains melt away. And then we're ready. We're ready to step out into what lies ahead. Let's clear the space. feel like a whole new woman <laughs> yay well you were yep. a great woman before you must be even better now thank you thank you 
Emily, <laughs> I have a question to you. I when have I, an answer. When I take this deep inhale, mm -hmm. and then I breathe out, I feel I have a lot more air to breathe out than I take in. Excellent. <laughs> that is ideal. Oh, that's that's great yeah. news. Yes, that's really good. <laughs> yeah, because um, because in order for your lungs to um, convert what you breathe in uh, and, and then take out the trash with your exhale, basically, that's what your lungs are doing. You're breathing in, there's all this stuff that you can't use, but then there's stuff that you can. And then mm -hmm. your body exhales out what you can't use. You really want to exhale out as much as possible and that's going to give you more space for your next inhale, but it's also going to um, it, it, it is going to uh, uh, lean you and send you into a more relaxed state. Mm -hmm. um, you can operate from a place of greater ease when you're able to really exhale. And the mm -hmm. longer exhale means you're, you're breathing deeper down into the diaphragm a lot of the time. And um, so it's all, it's all really good. Okay. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> good. Good. Yes. Yeah. Great. Tomorrow you and Hans will be out. Is that correct? We'll be out. Yes, that's correct. Oh, we're doing bingo all day tomorrow. So we will miss no. you. Yeah, I will miss the bingo. <laughs> and we're going to see if we can get you some bingo at another day. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. All right. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Emily. Oh, thank you. You. Yeah, my you pleasure. Good day. Okay. Yes. You have a good day, too. See y'all. Bye-bye. Yeah. See you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.